Going to the gym makes you a better musician. Going to the gym makes you a better musician. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> I know you already know this, but you know there are a lot of limiting beliefs in your head which says that you don't have time. You don't have time to go to the gym because you know that if you go to the gym, you could be practicing instead and that would make you better i'm here to tell you that that's not the case at all and it's not weird that you think about it's not weird that you have those limiting beliefs because it's limiting it's beliefs that we get fed by all our music teachers that we have growing up that the only thing you have to do is to put in the hours to practice 87 hours a day charlie parker practice 15 hours a day yeah, but Charlie Parker also died of fucking heroin. I mean, come on, we can't be comparing ourselves to like the people who like, who, who took a large amount of drugs and died of early age and say that if we do that, we'll get as good. Yeah, but you also die, motherfucker. <laughs> that's, not, that's not what you want to do. What I'm trying to say is going to the gym or it doesn't even have to be the gym i the thing i want you to take away from this video is like you have to go be active you have to go do stuff that our primal instinct want us to do i mean if you're not moving if you're not going and like using your strength that you have you will not be as focused as you can be and we're only talking about like maximizing the effectiveness of being a musician and practicing and that will only come from you being active. I promise you that. It can't be done if you're just sitting on your chair practicing. Because then you'll, yeah, you'll eventually have to take drugs because you can't be focused. So just find like something that you think is fun training to do. If for me it's lifting weights, you could be running, you could be doing push-ups, whatever. Just be active. And what I want you to take away from that is like, you don't have to practice eight hours a day. You don't have to practice six hours a day because instead of practicing six hours a day, you could go train for one hour and then you could come back and practice two hours. And those two hours will be much, much more effective practicing than those eight hours that you would have put in otherwise and you know that for the, in those eight hours only 20 minutes of those were effective and we're all for effectiveness aren't we we want the time that we put in to be effective and that's the most important part and we know science tells us you can't be more focused you can't be focused for 12 hours I mean, of course, if you take drugs, but then, yeah. I'm telling you, going, taking care of your body, moving, like making your brain be active in these primal instincts that we have. It's like the actual hack to get better at music. And nobody is telling you this. Isn't it weird? It's not weird because all our music teachers don't do this shit. And yeah, they might be good at their instruments. And I mean, there are so many people we look up to that are good at their instruments. But what do these have in common? Yeah, probably that they all do drugs. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is like the number one way to do it without, with, with taking your care of your body. Because we're all for self-improvement, aren't we? We want to become better at all aspects of, of all aspects of life. And I'm telling you, getting better at the aspect of taking care of your body, taking care of your mind, which you do when you train, will automatically like effectivize, effect, make, eff, effectivize, I don't know what to call it, but you will become so much more effective doing the stuff that you do. That means that one hour of practicing 
will become so much more beneficial for you if you take care of your body and you 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 do these things you train and that's what I want to tell you and I want to tell you that don't listen to anyone that says anything else don't listen to anyone that says well you should you could be practicing for that out don't listen to that person and don't ever compare yourself to other people when it comes to like oh well I practiced for 10 hours today how long did you practice that's bullshit you don't practicing for 10 hours does nothing to you if only 45 minutes were effective what well, isn't it isn't that right people be like comparing themselves and being feeling so good because they practice for 10 hours bro I'm telling you that that's not the case it's not they're, they're being happy for something that they didn't even that doesn't mean anything I mean imagine practicing for two hours how much else you can do you can go listen to music you can or you can just play for fun but when we're talking about practicing we're talking about effective work and deep work too you have to be deep into it and it's impossible I'm, I'm telling you it's impossible if you're not if you don't have an active mind that's been active through resistance training or any kind of training really so that's what I want to take you to take away from this video and I really really hope that you apply this because it has made my life so much better um, during these six months of self-improvement so I really hope that you can get something from this all right see you later